In this episode, we are going to create some social posts to promote our story. So, once your article is published, click on the button to create a social post. All of the social posts related to the article will appear here and later you can choose to easily access them at any time or even to create more posts if you need to do so. So let's go ahead and create our first one. So here you will see our social media editor. We started creating our social post from our article. So you can see the preview photo is already in place because it uses the same photo from the article. So now we have a piece of content that we can publish now or schedule for later. You can also use our UTM builder here as well if you want to track the performance of this content in Google Analytics. So now it's time to choose the channels you want to post this content on. So we'll go ahead and choose Twitter, our LinkedIn, our Facebook group, our LinkedIn company page, Google My Business and Instagram. We will also let our colleagues know in Slack that we have a new article and we can also post it on our Facebook page. I also want to create some engagements with my colleagues. So my colleagues will receive an email where they will see a page of all the social posts next to each other. And in that way, they will be able to interact with them without leaving that page. So now if you scroll down, you can tailor your message per channel. So for example, you can easily modify the image just by clicking on the image and then modify preview here. You can also modify the text. So let's put in something different for Instagram. Let's change it as well for Facebook here. So create content. Um, and let's go ahead and add some hashtags for Twitter. Let's put in our keyword pop-ups and content marketing. So you can also request for approval. You just need to put in a valid email address in here or you can choose someone in your story chief account. You can, for example, add comments. You can also mark this as approved and so on, but that isn't all. So you can also tailor the publishing times and schedule the post for different times. But we also wanna promote this article constantly because if we do so over time, you'll get more followers. The algorithms on each social network result is different. That means that you want to promote it even more and maybe in a different way. So we'll use this plus button on the top left corner here. If I click on it, I can duplicate the current social media post. Now you can see here both drafts. If I click here on the top left corner, you can see them both. And now I'll schedule it again for, let's say in six months, for example. I'll go ahead and schedule that. Let's choose that day and click on apply. But let's say I want to schedule it even earlier, let's say maybe for tomorrow, for example, let's publish this then in a different form. And let's say publish now or schedule it for in a few hours later. We can also do that. I'll go ahead and delete this link here and I'll put the link in my text instead. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll add the link um, and voila. I will also use a video to promote this story. So you can use a video from your computer or from your media library. I've already prepared something and I'm going to use that one. So this video that we created in Canva, for example, and this video is a summary of this article, which is much more fun and attractive to watch than a link. So this post will go up again to all social channels, but if you want to disable some of them, for example, let's say your personal LinkedIn profile in order to make it less spammy, you can also go ahead and do that. So this is how our social media editor works. So we started from the story, but of course you can also go ahead and start a brand new post with any piece of content that you want, whether it's an image, whether it's an external link, or maybe it's a video that you want to promote and publish to different channels. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.